guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're going to be looking at the DC Comics Unlimited Wonder Woman figure. This is her new 52 design, and I think it's a pretty good figure. She comes with a little sword that looks like the one from the Lord of the Rings that Bilbo got that glows blue, but it's not that. It just looks kind of like it. Kind of like the little short sword, really, is all it is. Decent sculpt work, no paint work other than the red handle. It will come warped in the package, but you can fix that with some hot water. Wonder Woman stands six and a half inches tall, so standard DCUC scale. Pretty much standard DCUC straight through. She's got an all-new head sculpt, which looks really good, if we can focus on that. Let's focus on it. So they did a really good job with the head sculpt. The hair looks great, and the paintwork on it is good too. She has some blushing on her cheeks. Good paintwork throughout the bandana thing, or headband, or whatever you call that. Lips and eyes are all painted well, and there's a nice blue dry brush on the hair to make it stand out. Looks great. Same thing with the sculpted uh, necklace type thing there. They did another good job with that. She has shading throughout all of her skin tones, so that's a nice touch. Uh, the paintwork on the silver part of her outfit is really good. Uh, there's shading throughout the red. No wash, though. A wash would have been really good with all that recessed sculpt work. Her trunks, even though they're really dark, a wash would have been good there, but the paintwork is solid. Same thing with her lasso. Although it's permanently connected to her body, they still did a good job. It's a nice metallic gold, and the sculpt work is pretty good. The band on her arm... While it's not uh, textured or sculpted at all, it is really well done. It's super clean looking and they did a great job with that. Her wrist bracelet things are painted well and they are sculpted so that's nice. She has the same crappy hands but they work well enough to hold her accessory so that's really all you need. No problems there. The fingernail polish that they painted on is pretty much where it belongs so I can't really complain about that too much either. Her boots are really the only part of the figure that have poor paint. The whites don't always line up with the sculpted parts of the blue, and there's a little bit of bleeding, but other than that, it's really not a bad situation at all. The whole figure looks really good, and articulation-wise, I only have one complaint. She has standard DCUC neck articulation. It's a little stuck a lot of the time because of the hair, and because the peg, I think, is too big for the peg hole but it's not really a problem for me because you can get it to do what you want. Standard ball hinge shoulders with a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and wrist rotation, so that's all normal. And here's the problem. She has that diaphragm joint that's only good for the waist twist, really. It replaces the waist twist. It works, but it has no rocking front to back or side to side, and there is no waist twist. So, uh, do I like that? Uh, I don't know. I think I would like it a lot more if it had the rocking side to side or front and back, but it is effective and it doesn't break up the nice look of this waist sculpt work. So I'm kind of for it and kind of against it. I'll leave it up to you to decide if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Hip articulation is standard DCUC. Nothing to talk about there. Thigh swivel right there. Single jointed knee and the ankle pivot right there. So. Overall, it's a really good figure. It's one of my favorites out of this new batch of figures, and I'm going to say I definitely recommend you pick it up because it's a really good Wonder Woman figure. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, more custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.